So we are about to head off on our first car camping trip. It's going to be two nights if um, we stick to that plan. Um, <clears throat> the car is a lot more full than I thought about when I <laughs> initially considered car camping. Uh, yes, there's lots of stuff that back there, including the dog and uh, the kid and so you can see it's pretty much full. Um, but uh, we'll see how we go. We are going to have to move everything out of the way, of course, um, to sleep. We'll see how that goes. I've got the fridge here. I've got it covered up to stop the sun making it warm. And various cables and things connected as well. Yeah, should be fun. Might be a bit crowded, and but I don't know. I, th I think we'll do all right. It'll just take a little bit of um, shoving of things around to fit. We'll see how we go. Anyway, let's hit the road. You ready to go? Awesome. <laughs> We stopped to visit my sister who lives nearby and um, now we're driving into a beautiful sunset. Check this out. I don't know if the camera is going to show it very well, but it's quite pretty from here. There we go. It's quite pretty. Uh, we're at our campsite and um, started unpacking the car and thought I'll set up some lights took out the string lights and uh, turns out I forgot to check they had some charge and of course there's no sunlight here at the moment <laughs> so I gotta use the old headlamp which you know while it's not the end of the world these string lights are much nicer and easier to see as well because you don't get that big block of shadow exactly where you want to see you know if you've got like one single lamp Oh, I think a mozzie just tried to go in my ear. I don't know if you can see the sheen on me. It's really warm. Um, we've got the car here. We're intending to sleep in the car. Oh, let me see if you can see there. Everything's there. It's all going. Yeah, it's just stuff all over the place. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting moving everything out of the way. <laughs> so much more full than I expected. I don't know what I was thinking when I was going, oh, there won't be much in the back. Nah. There'll be hardly anything. Right, yes. All right, well, I'm going to start uh, cooking dinner, I guess. We'll get that started. Nice, easy gnocchi tonight. Super easy. Um, here's me with my awesome headlamp. They look so dicky, but they're, they're awesome. <laughs> um, I just came up to the loo block. Block of loos. Block of showers, toilets. And um, it is super hot. It is really, really hot. I'm standing here doing nothing and there is sweat dripping off me. <laughs> I'm guessing it's 29 degrees, I reckon. I'm trying to decide uh, with sleeping in the car tonight whether we have the um, aircon on or put the fan on and see how it feels with the fan. I guess we'll try the fan first and if it's not cutting it, we'll turn the aircon in the car on and have that because uh, if it doesn't cool down at all it's just going to be ridiculously hot all night and even with our um, snap shades in the windows to get a bit of airflow I mean I, I'm in a wide open thing with you know all these open windows and it's still stupid hot so uh, in a tiny little car with my body heat, Alexis's body heat, and the dog's body heat. You can probably hear her panting down there. It's gonna be super hot. So we may end up with the air conditioning on. I bought myself this thing. They are called Crockheads, or Crockhead is the brand. And uh, you pinch this bottom, the whole bottom bit, and uh, it holds the mozzie coil in whatever position, in whatever section of the mozzie coil that you've got. Um, because of course you look at them wrong and they break um, this means it, it, it's like a little pincer and it just um, grabs hold of it I mean I've I already broke the end off that without even meaning to uh, and also this I got there was a Kickstarter thing for a cool strainer that I use with cans which I've got with me 
I don't think I'm going to need it this camping trip. I brought it with me, of course, anyway. But um, it's designed to hold, it's a spoon holder, a spoon rest. So you rest your spoon sort of in there and then the end of the dirty spoon is on the silicon. And uh, it's working out perfectly. Oh, there we go. Look, some ash just dropped. To catch the ash from the mozzie coil. Multi-purpose. You've got to love something that's multi-purpose. Tonight for dinner, we have gnocchi. It's going to be pesto gnocchi. This is a mix that is made up of dry herbs and it's really good. You add it to your cooked gnocchi and then you add some oil and then you mix it all up and um, it turns out really nicely. It's uh, starting to rain a little bit. This is not good. I'm in the middle of cooking dinner. <laughs> um, my hair's all over the place because I just took my uh, headlamp off. Probably got a big red spot. Yeah, look at this. There, headlamp head. Um, it's only sprinkling, so uh, hopefully it's not going to come pouring down. It might mean it'll cool down a bit, which would be great. But I think over in that distance where I'm looking now, I think I saw some... Um, oh, there we go. Flashes of thunder. Flashes of lightning. Rolling thunder. Um, it doesn't look like heavy cloud cover over there, so I'm really hoping it's not going to rain super heavily. Uh, hopefully dinner will be finished soon and we can get in the car. The gnocchi is in. We're waiting for it to start rising to the top. We can just sit here and stare at it for a while if you like. Not really, I won't, I won't put you through that. It's pretty dark out there. Wonder if I can catch a flash of lightning. Oh, there we go. Could you hear that thunder? I really hope it doesn't start pouring down on us. But if it cools it down, that will be good. It does feel a lot cooler already. There's a nice breeze. Hopefully it's not too noisy in the camera. Um, yeah. I don't want the rain, but the rain could be good. Dilemma. The gnocchi has risen. Now we can put it in the bowl and mix our stuff on it. I don't have enough light here to set up a uh, tripod to show you how I'm making this. It's really not gonna work and with the rain possibly coming, I just don't wanna muff around. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow night. The pesto gnocchi is ready. It doesn't look very attractive, but I don't think pesto ever does, does it? I'm gonna put some nutrient on top, nutritional yeast and uh we're ready to eat and with that thunder in the background maybe we'll get in the car as soon as we eat we're all tucked into bed back of the car <laughs> i managed to um move pretty much everything into the front um i put some down in the footwell of the um driver's seat um I ended up closing the windows and putting the air conditioning on because um, there was more thunder and uh, I was worried about, um, <laughs> there's, a, there's little moths in here, we managed to get moths in here. Um, I was worried about it starting raining in the middle of the night and then having to get out of the car in the middle of the rain and turn the engine on <laughs> to turn on the air conditioning. Um, yeah, because the front isn't terribly accessible from any direction except outside of the car. Um, but yeah, it's nice and cool now. And it was super muggy out there, so it was super muggy in here. Um, it feels better having the air conditioning on now. I've got a little fan back there. I don't know if you heard the engine kick on. I've got a little fan hanging back there. And that's uh, pulling some of the aircon through to the back here. Won't need that on all night, I don't think. Um, that's about it really. We're just sort of relaxing and winding down for sleep and hopefully we'll sleep okay. Hello <laughs> Molly. Thanks for watching part one of my first car camping trip. It was pretty cool, it was tiring, there was lots to be learnt. I'm going to leave you with part two in the next video.
because uh, there you can watch me faff about on almost no sleep while I'm making breakfast. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'd love it if you would like and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.